great information, new information for us today. Thank you. We are, are also following some breaking news out in New Orleans where the NOPD arrested someone in a murder case involving a two lane graduate who came back to the city to plan his wedding. This is a major development to a high profile killing, which happened five years ago. WDSU's Travers Mackle covered this story since it happened. And Travers, I know you just talked exclusively with the victim's fiance moments ago. What did you find out? Yeah, she had a lot to say. We'll have more with her in just a moment. But first off, a man named Ernest Weatherspoon was arrested late last night and booked into jail. He is charged with second degree murder and armed robbery and the killing of Thomas Rolfus. Now you'll recall this was a very high profile case in the city five years ago. Rolfus was shot and killed in May of 16, Mother's Day weekend at the corner of Claiborne and Amelia, which is in Central City. It's a story that we broke back then. Rolfus, a two lane grad, was in the city with his fiance planning their wedding. Homicide detectives did extensive work on this case as Rolfus was last seen at a popular uptown bar on Magazine Street with friends. It's not known how or why he got to Central City, but the DA says new evidence and people coming forward with information have now led to this arrest. DA Williams did not elaborate on what type of new evidence they have, only saying that it's very strong in this case and that this was an armed robbery gone bad. Rolfus' fiance says this news, more than five and a half years after the murder, has been a long time coming. We really never thought this day would come and it, it's a mix of emotions, but I'm happy that we're finally gonna get some closure and some answers. Even solving this case doesn't um, bring back Thomas, you know. Um, they were very emotional. Uh, it made me very emotional. This whole thing has been very emotional. JPSO and U.S. Marshals helped NOPD pick up the suspect in this case. If convicted of second degree murder, he faces a mandatory life sentence. And we should point this out. The lead detective on this case, a longtime homicide detective named Andrew Waldron, the DA singled him out and said he never forgot about this cold case. He reached out to the family yearly and tried to find critical clues that have now led to an arrest five and a half years later. We'll have much more on that coming up in later newscast. For now, we're live at the jail. I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News. All right, Travers, thank you. Let's talk weather. We are nine.